Have you ever wondered why humans don't have tails unlike many other mammals? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? We're part of a select group of mammals including our primate cousins the apes, who have lost this seemingly useful appendage. This captivating mystery has puzzled scientists and laymen alike for centuries. So, was there ever a point in the history of the Earth that humans had tails? Certainly. Our ancient animal ancestors indeed had tails, and this includes our distant primate predecessors. However, somewhere around 20 to 25 million years ago during the divergence of apes from monkeys, our branch of the evolutionary tree decided to part ways with its tail. This fascinating divergence in our primate family tree invites us to delve deeper into our own evolutionary history. Just like many of our monkey cousins, our ancestors too had tails. Evidence? The coccyx or tailbone that we all have. This small triangular bone at the base of our spines, often dismissed as vestigial, is actually a remnant of the vertebrae that once formed a tail in our tailed ancestors. But how did we lose our tails? Well the answer is tucked away in our genes. Meet TBXT, a gene that plays a crucial role in tail development. In creatures with tails the TBXT gene guides the formation of tail vertebrae. But in apes and humans, this gene works a bit differently. So the key to our missing tails lies in our genes, specifically a gene named TBXT. We humans and our ape cousins carry a unique genetic alteration in the TBXT gene, an insertion called ALU-Y. This fascinating bit of our DNA is a key player in the tale of our lost tails. But what exactly is this ALU-Y insertion, and how does it influence our tailless state? In the vast universe of our genome, the TBXT gene is a noteworthy star. It's responsible for the development of the tail in our distant relatives. However, in humans and apes, this gene carries an additional piece of DNA, an insertion known as a Lui. This Lui insertion is like a tiny genetic hitchhiker that hopped aboard the TBXT gene several million years ago. This insertion doesn't just sit idle, it significantly alters the gene's function. When the gene is read and transcribed into ribonucleic acids, or RNAs, these RNAs now carry the signature of the Lui insertion. These RNAs are essential building blocks for our cells and play a critical role in cellular structure and function. The Lui modified RNAs lead to a change in the way our cells behave, and this change is particularly evident in the developmental stages. It's during these stages that our bodies, following the blueprint laid out by our DNA, decide whether to grow a tail or not. And with the Lui insertion in the picture, the decision is firmly against tail growth. This genetic change millions of years ago led to us losing our tails. And so we evolved from tail to tailless, thanks to a tiny piece of DNA making a big difference. Experiments with mice have further shed light on how this genetic alteration affects tail development. Scientists have been able to manipulate the genes of mice to mirror the genetic changes that occurred in our primate ancestors. Using gene editing technology, they introduced a similar ALU-Y insertion into the TBXT gene of mice. This genetic alteration in mice models replicated the genetic conditions in humans and apes. And voila, the mice ended up with short or non-existent tails, mimicking our own tailless condition. This wasn't a simple process though. The journey of research that led to these findings was long and arduous. Nearly 900 days of rigorous study, observation and experimentation went into this project before the findings could be published. That's almost two and a half years of dedication and hard work from the research team. These experiments with mice offer a compelling look at how a small genetic change can have a significant impact. It's a fascinating demonstration of the power of genes and how they shape us, right down to the presence or absence of a tail. But the tale of the tail doesn't end here. The genetic alteration that led to tail loss in humans and apes also had other consequences. It seems that evolution is always a trade-off, with gains in one area potentially leading to losses in another. In our case, the loss of the tail was accompanied by an increased risk of certain neural tube defects. These mouse models confirm that a small genetic change can have a significant impact on our physical traits. They provide a tangible, real-world example of how our genes influence our bodies, and how a tiny alteration in our DNA can lead to a dramatic change in our physical appearance. It's a testament to the incredible intricacy and complexity of the genetic code that shapes all living beings. Evolution is all about trade-offs. Losing our tails may have given rise to the coccyx in humans, gorillas, and chimpanzees. This evolution isn't just some random occurrence but a calculated move by Mother Nature herself. So, what could be the possible advantages of tail loss? Well, one theory suggests that as our ancestors moved from living in trees to walking on the ground, a tail became less useful. 
It might have even been a hindrance, making it harder to maintain balance while upright. The energy and resources that went into tail growth could then be used elsewhere, like in developing our large complex brains. Another theory posits that tail loss made childbirth easier, as a tail could potentially interfere with the process. This would have given tailless primates a survival advantage, allowing them to pass on their tailless genes to future generations. But with every advantage comes a disadvantage. The loss of the tail and the rise of the coccyx have been linked to an increase in neural tube defects like spina bifida. This is because the genetic changes that led to tail loss also affected the development of the neural tube, the structure that eventually forms the brain and spinal cord. While the loss of our tails may have come with some downsides, it seems to have been a beneficial change overall. Evolution, it seems, knows how to balance the scales. The story of our lost tales is a fascinating glimpse into the intricate dance of genes and evolution. We've journeyed through time, from our tail-bearing primate ancestors to the tailless apes we are today. We've delved into the mysteries of our genetic code, exploring the role of the TBXT gene and the Aluwai DNA insertion in the disappearance of our tails. We've considered the lessons learned from gene-edited mice, whose altered genetic makeup mirrored our own tailless condition. These experiments, which took close to 900 days to come to fruition, shed light on the genetic mechanisms behind our lost tales. We've also pondered on the evolutionary trade-offs, the advantages and disadvantages that came with tail loss. The formation of the coccyx, or tailbone, in humans, gorillas, and chimpanzees marked a significant shift in our evolutionary path. Theories suggest that this tail loss may have provided survival advantages, despite the increased risk of neural tube defects. As we conclude, let's marvel at the wonders of genetics and evolution. These forces have shaped us, and continue to do so, in ways that are often unexpected and always intriguing. Our lost tales are but one chapter in the epic narrative of human evolution. If you enjoyed this journey into our evolutionary past, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends.